everyone. We are here with John Condren, the founder of Trump Car here at Eagles Canyon racing this weekend. Tell me, how did you come up with the idea for Trump Car? I've been racing for over 40 years and I was actually in the Trans Am series at the time and I did a little calculation and it was costing me around $3,500 just to get the car from my shop into my trailer. That's by the time I put on tires and brakes and I just looked at the cost and it was off the chart. It is pricey. And I thought back into the late 60s, early 70s when I first started racing and I could run the whole year for $3,500. So I wanted to figure out a way that I could do a, a throwback, a little bit of a retro mm -hmm. racing back to the early 60s and, and, and mid 60s, late early 70s. And the whole idea was you have to use a stock car, you have to make maximum seat time, mm -hmm. you have to make it available to everyone, and you have to run iconic tracks. And if you put all that together, that's how we came up with Jump Car. thousand members in five years. Wow, it's getting very popular. We are the fastest growing segment of motorsports in North America. We are the largest endurance road racing series in the world. And here at Eagles Canyon this weekend, we're putting on the longest closed course endurance road race in the world. How long is it? 37 hours. Ooh, that's a long time. Last year we did 36 hours at Spokane County Raceway and uh, every year we add one hour. So next year we're doing 38 hours at Virginia International Raceway. Chunk Car runs at a, a lot of bucket list tracks such as Daytona, Sebring, VIR, Road America, Road Atlanta, uh, Laguna Sega. A lot of tracks that uh, the, the common guy usually doesn't get a chance to get on, this series provides that for you. Uh, you can get four of your buddies, build you a car, and go out to some, some of the tracks that you watched other guys race on for years, and this is a way for all of us to get a chance to do it. So how does someone get into this if they're interested in racing with Trump Car? The best way is to come out and spend a weekend with us at the track. Learn what you need to learn, Great talk, idea. To, talk to the teams, just spectate or even come out and volunteer. Mm -hmm. But then download the rules, read through the rules, then read through the rules again, <laughs> then read through the rules a third time. I think the rules are important. They are, they are. <laughs> and once you understand what we're all about and the way we put it together, go find a good, reliable car, mm -hmm. keep it stocked, put in all the safety gear like the roll cage, the uh, containment seat, the uh, harness, the fire system. And then from there, slowly figure out how to make the car survive. Okay. For, the, for this race this weekend, we always tell people it's a 37 hour race, but actually it's 36 hours of survival mm -hmm. and one hour of racing. So there's a cost limitation on this though. How does that work? Well, we started off with $500 cars. We've changed that recently to a 500 point car because we don't think people thinking that $500 car, that's something you find up on cinder blocks in a back alley somewhere. <laughs> right. But actually, Take a relatively inexpensive car, mm -hmm. and we have a database of over 3,500 cars where we can tell you the exact value of that car today based on the market value. So okay. we look at the market value, we add in a little bit of a qualifier for some performance because some cars have got more horsepower than others. Right. And then from there, we can tell you whether or not it's within that 500 point range that we want. If you're over the 500 point range, we add one penalty lap for every $10 you're over. Okay, that's a good way to resolve so if it. You show up with a 600 point car, you're 10 laps down before the green flag even falls. Hmm. But 10 laps, you can make that up in a 12 hour, 24 oh, hour. Oh, absolutely. You can make, I mean, there are teams here that started with 45 laps down for a 37 hour race. Wow. But they'll make it up. Yeah, absolutely. That's we've, great. We've had 24 hour races where the top three cars have all finished within 15 seconds. Wow. Last year's race with the 36 hour was determined by one lap. Holy cow. It was great. That's one hole. That's good racing. It is good racing. I think I'm going to get a chance to get out on, on the track today. Yeah, great. All right, let's do this. All right, I'm here with the guys in the break room at Eagles Canyon and uh, just checking in on how their race is going. We're in 13th place and we started in last place. Whoa, that's a heck of a move. Be like 24th place to 13th, so we're the, we're the fast mover today. We're at Eagles Canyon Raceway for the Chump Car Racing Series. Big thank you to City Garage, who invited yours truly out to drive their BMW M3. Off to the races.
I'm running with Kentucky Fried Racing. Ooh, catchy name. <laughs> yes, it was my brother's idea. What car are you running? It's a uh, CRX, white CRX. Okay, how long have you been racing? I've been racing for about six years now. How did you get into it? My brother and his buddies uh, got the team together and then asked me to join. Cool. So. All right, well, how many uh, drivers do you have on your team? We have five okay. this time. And how many stints are you running this weekend? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I've already done two for today. Okay. Um, I know I have another one coming up and then it's kind of whatever happens after that since it's such a long race. How long were those stints? Uh, the first one was an hour, the second one was about an hour and 45 minutes. Kind of tests your concentration, doesn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> How did it feel out there? It's kind of cold. It's freezing out there. I've been having trouble with my fingers being numb. Oh. So, but other than that, it's been okay. And you guys have an interesting team name. What is it? It's uh, Team Mullet. Uh, how did you come up with that? Uh, our car started off as a Toyota Supra, and it's been cut kind of like an El Camino, so we thought it was a fitting title since it's kind of the, uh, the mullet vehicle of choice. So what are some things you have to keep in mind when doing endurance racing? Um, <laughs> not driving the car at 100% all the time. You have to preserve it for the, for the whole race, so you're actually having to back off. You're short shifting, not, not braking as ladies usually would. Um, our car's pretty touchy on the brakes, so trying not to flat spot the tires as I did pretty early on. Um, we're suffering through that right now, so just taking it easy on the car, making it last the whole race. And are you guys managing that well up to now? It seems like our lap times have been pretty consistent, even with the tires wearing a little bit. The lap times are staying pretty similar as the, the drivers get through, so I, I think we're doing pretty well at, at maintaining the car, so just hopefully nothing surprises us. As you can see, I uh, just got out of the car, a little sweaty, even on a cold day. Uh, it was good to get back to the roots of driving, you know, basic car, really about keeping it smooth because smooth is fast. Uh, brakes were a little bit touchy, I locked it up a couple of times, but overall it was super fun. My goal was to pass everyone and then pit, so I think I almost passed everyone. I think there might have been one I missed, but uh, it was a great time. It's endurance racing, you've got to make it survive. So. Right. That's the whole focus. All right. Sounds like the smartest ones make it to the end. <laughs> uh, smart and lucky. Lucky. It's a little bit of both. A little bit of luck. A <laughs> little bit. There's always a little bit of luck. Well, that's it for us here at Eagles Canyon. We had a great time with the Chump Car Series. Check them out.